What's going on everybody? We're sitting in a rest area in Ohio going to pick up this load going to Alabama. Um, it is either cable reels or wire reels. So this rate comes so uh, just says reels in a one ton pickup truck with rack. <laughs> so uh um the location is sketchy these are the instructions i have 40 foot gravel driveway don't pull in we'll load on asphalt <laughs> so in other words we're going to be loading this on the road so uh i google mapped it looked at satellite pictures and um I get why they don't want me to pull down the driveway. I'll try and remember to put a picture up of it here and uh, uh, from Google Earth, and uh, I'll show it to y'all. But uh, we're gonna load it, go down to Alabama, and then uh, we got what will hopefully be a fun one going west. Uh, more on that later. But um, anyway, we can't load it till eight. He said between 8 and 8.30, it's 7.30 now, so, or no, excuse me, it's 10 after 7, we're about 20 minutes away, it put me there at 7.30, so, um, we're just hanging out in the rest area on 33 here, just a little one, and, uh, waiting to go in, because, uh, don't want to be tying up the road, and I'm pretty sure we're going to have to get the ramps out to load that pickup truck, so, uh, it's not like I can move or anything like that. So, anyway, um, I'll probably get the GoPros up and running and show you all most of the way in there anyway. And uh, we'll get her loaded and I'll be back with you. Get her patter. Let's get at her.
bunch of units they have there. Um, so I'm gonna go check in with them and we'll get back with you. Time and never go away Wonder why I balance to my knees when I pray In my city, gritty, gotta keep it on your waist Or you might be a victim, they'll find you DOA How can I really been addicted to you? All of my attention I've been giving to you Caught up in my feelings, I got feelings for you Caught up in my feelings, I got feelings for you On my mind, I can't lie
Okay guys, we're at uh, Glendale, Kentucky. So, as you can see, I decided to go ahead and do my 10 hour break up at Jeffersonville and uh, run at night, which I typically do. Uh, a lot less traffic. Uh, there was a fair amount of traffic on the road there yesterday when we got off at Jeffersonville. And still a lot of traffic, even for midnight, one o'clock. It's now three o'clock, but I'm gonna get out, check my straps, and uh, I'm gonna do some figuring. I got fuel at Jeffersonville. Gotta see what's between here and there as far as fuel stops that I use, because I pretty much stick to TAs and Petros. So, uh, might go ahead and top off again here, because it was 600 miles down there, so it would pretty much burn off. Would burn off, will burn off everything I put on at Jeffersonville. So, anyway, we'll be back on the highway in a second. Alright guys, 92 gallons, 456 bucks, so uh, that's just topping off the left tank there, as you can see their pump leaked all over my, my tank, but got everything checked out, tightened down, retightened, got a couple, got a couple clicks on the straps on the truck and had to redo this back chain here. It was a little bit loose and had to take the uh, binder off of it, suck it up tighter, and then retighten re it. So, um, unfortunately, when I did this one, I didn't really get to do it how I would have liked to have done it. I, I guess I could have, but uh, now that I'm looking at it, but uh, it come up so high that uh, hooking it and then just pulling the slack out of it like I did this one here didn't work. I had to hook it straight to the chain, which six and one, half a dozen in the other for the most part. It's just, I kind of like it better when they're like that one right there. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and use the restroom. We'll get back on the highway.
we got it unloaded and uh, I'm in the way I just found out looking in the mirror because I was getting changed see my clothes hanging back there and because uh, I was soaked I had to get my ramps out to unload the truck of course putting all my gear away and uh, got everything done and we're gonna get out of here I know y'all probably would have liked to have seen me unload that but everything started going real fast as it usually does when we get into these places and of course at that point I'm on their time so um, one of these days I'll show y'all setting up the ramps and tearing down the ramps and uh, I think we're just going back out and go the way we can what it's like driving up on them and what have you but Driving takes precedence, if you didn't know. And this is not, it's a huge yard, but there's stuff all over the place in here. You want to make sure you don't hit nothing. Mississippi and I hear Montana's beautiful this time of year so keep a shiny side up safe travels see you in the next one